What's up, everybody? I'm Joel Freeman. Welcome to my backyard and welcome to Feed the Beast. Now, today I'm gonna be taking you through a super secret recipe of Joel Burgers. Now, one of the things that makes the Joel Burger so special is it's gonna be a little bit different every single time. And you might say like, well, how is that a, a recipe? Well, there's staples that I use every single time, but sometimes you have certain things in the fridge and sometimes you don't. My staples though, always have to add an egg, a couple jalapeno, diced purple onion, minced garlic, some breadcrumbs to hold it all together, some Worcestershire sauce, and I always add some sort of mustard to it, either be a spicy mustard, this is a jalapeno mustard, and of course a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese to tie it all together. Now that we got everything ready to go, first things first, we got to chop up the jalapeno. So I only cut it in half once, and then that's gonna go right into the bowl. Then the onion's up next. Same idea behind this. I'm not gonna chop it up too fine. There it goes, onion. We're gonna take the egg, pop the egg into it. The egg is great because it adds a little bit extra protein, but also it helps hold things together like the breadcrumbs. I can kinda eyeball it. That looks good of Worcestershire sauce. That's kind of the fun thing, right? And that's the way I like to change it up a little bit and to make the flavors switch out a little bit. I do like garlic, so that's going in there as well. Take the mustard. Oh, it even smells spicy. I'm liking this one, I'm excited about this one. There we go. A little bit of cheese. Eh. I like cheese. All right, now it is time to add in the beef. Lean beef, always going for the lean beef, at least 90% lean. Knead it around, just like that. All right, so the breadcrumbs are great to hold it together a little bit. One pound, for me, makes about four burgers. That's one. Number two, three, four. All right, there we go. So many people ask me, like, hey, what do you do with your corn? Absolutely nothing at all. I'm gonna take one corn, and I'm gonna roll it up, and this, Ladies and gentlemen, is seriously all I do with the corn. I'm not a fan of a lot of spices and seasonings. And as you saw, we already got a lot of flavor that's gone into the burgers. So with the corn, I just like the natural flavor of it. All right, grill is heated up, so we're ready to go. A couple things that I do first, give it a steam bath. Clean it up, cook and spray, ready to go. Ooh. I always take the corn, put the corn on the top rack, and then on the bottom rack, the burgers. All right, while we're waiting for the burgers and the corn, I gotta cut up the avocado. Avocados are great for healthy fats, added flavor. The nice thing about avocado is it also can replace using any sort of condiment like extra mustard or mayo or ketchup. Between all the things that we already put in the burger, this is all you need on top of it. Side two. All right, so about seven minutes depends on the temperature. I just go off the look of it, the smell of it, and Hopefully the taste of it's gonna be pretty good. Also with the corn, every time you flip the burgers, you just turn the corn. All right, went and grabbed the lettuce from inside and what I'm gonna do is just take two big pieces. And those right there are gonna act as the bun. Now, look, I'm all for a burger bun, but when we're talking about really working into your macros, sometimes it's just a little bit easier and you find those hacks to take the calories down. And these are a great way of doing it. All right, I think these are ready. Leave the corn on for just one more minute and I shall bring it down here. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the burger, I'm gonna put it on top of that piece of lettuce just like that. I'm gonna take the next one, put it on top of that piece of lettuce just like that. And take a little bit of avocado, cut the lettuce in half, put that like that, put that like that. All right, corn should be done. These are in a little bit longer than the burgers, probably about 15 minutes tops. But remember I said they're on the top rack, so that's why I cooked a little bit. It's steaming, and it's got that little grilled color on it. Now, I know what the Joel burgers taste like, but the camera guys don't. And they've been watching me prep this all day long, so Will and Gray are gonna get to try the first batch of Joel burgers. Gentlemen, Go right. in there. Cheers. Cheers, boys. I don't like spicy stuff, and this is fire. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, mm -hmm. I told you, they got some kick to them. You know, the jalapenos mm -hmm. and the, the jalapenos, so the jalapeno mustard, right? Yeah. I think the burgers were a hit with the boys, especially because the other guys are eyeballing the other two burgers in here, so we're gonna wrap it up. This is something that's a really big deal to me just because I've never shared this recipe before, and I know it changes and everything like that, but it's something that is near and dear to my heart. My father taught me this recipe back when I was a kid and we were barbecuing, so I'm passing it on to all of my fit fam. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. Tag me in it. I wanna know your 
your feedback. Thanks for stopping by my grill. I'm Joel Freeman, and this is Feed the Beast. <laughs>